Hello everyone, how are you? Are you with us in ongoing teaching learning classes? If not, due to the pressure of lockdown, please leave everything and get ready because we all educators are here to warm up, to cheer up and to cheer up you. I feel breathing is the greatest pleasure in our life. With this beautiful thought, I'd like to connect you the very first interesting topic of standard five science that is my body where today I'm going to be with you about the breathing system. So before starting this chapter I'd like to recall you the previous concept of organs. These are special structures present in our body that perform specific functions. These organs are divided into two parts that are external organs and internal organs. You can see in pigs, eyes, tongue, nose, all these are considered as external organs. And internal organs like some of the examples are here like nasal cavity, lungs and stomach. Now how these organs are connected with the system? That is most important. Here you can see a system is a group of organs that work together for a particular function. For example, respiratory system and digestive system. In class 4, we studied about the digestive system. Different organs which make this system are mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. In the same way, the different organs which are involved in making respiratory system are nasal cavity, larynx, windpipe, lungs and diaphragm. With another picture, I want to make it more clear through this model. I want to show you the different parts of the respiratory system. Starting with nose that opens in nasal cavity. Next is mouth connected to nasal cavity, opens through oral cavity. Next is larynx, known as voice box. Next connected with windpipe and this windpipe is bifurcated into two lungs having balloon-like structure. The right lungs are slightly larger than the left one and the whole system is present on diaphragm. This is a clear picture which help you all to understand the breathing mechanism. Now we will talk about the breathing system. What is breathing? All living things take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. This process is called breathing. It takes place continuously without any rest in all living things. It consists of two parts, inhalation and exhalation. What is inhalation? It is the process of taking air into the lungs. That air is rich in oxygen. And exhalation, it is the process of releasing air out from the lungs. That is rich in carbon dioxide. Through this picture, this concept will be more clear to you. You can see here inhalation process and the next picture, exhalation process. These processes take place with the help of the muscular diaphragm and the ribcage. One most important term is here that is breathing rate. You must know about this. The number of times a person breathes per minute is termed as the breathing rate. So you can consider one breath as one inhalation plus one exhalation. Next is about the mechanism of breathing. Most important. The process of breathing is generally divided into two phases, as you know very well, inspiration and expiration. It is also considered as inhalation and exhalation. During inhalation, the muscles around the rib cage contract, lifting the ribs upward and outward and lowering the dome of the diaphragm. As a result of these changes, the chest cavity also expands. With the enlargement of the lungs, air pressure inside the lungs, falls below the pressure of the air outside the body and this creates a partial vacuum and so air from outside the body rushes into the lungs. I want to show you these pictures. This is a side view during inhalation process 
and this is the front view during inhalation process. Here you can see the expansion of the chest. Coming up on the next, that is during in exhalation, the muscles that lift the rib cage and lower the diaphragm relax. As a result, the rib cage and the diaphragm return to their original positions and the lungs contract with each contraction of the lungs. The air inside them is forced out. This can be more clear to you with this picture. This is the picture of during exhalation process and this is the front view. Here you can see the difference in the position of the diaphragm also during inhalation. It moves down and during exhalation it moves up. Now next most important question is that how is oxygen transported from lungs to other parts of the body? The blood while passing through the lungs picks up oxygen with the help of a red pigment called hemoglobin. Blood is red due to the presence of hemoglobin in it. Hemoglobin transports oxygen to different parts of the body. It also picks up some of the carbon dioxide produced by the cells during cellular respiration and transport it to the lungs for expiration. So hemoglobin act as a respiratory carrier in our body. So this is one most interesting question is that why do we need to breathe out carbon dioxide? High levels of carbon dioxide in the body can be toxic. Hence, carbon dioxide needs to be removed. It is brought to the lungs by blood and then removed when we exhale. So, with this system, I want to make it clear you during breathing process oxygen helps to perform different functions in our body so this is most interesting and most important system in our body i hope you have enjoyed this session and i'll be back very soon with the next topic bye bye